we see the peck Torellis minor. We use a same drawing, coracoid process, starting from the coracoid process to three, four, five, three, four, five ribs. We have the peck minor. And what is interesting in this peck minor that we have the vascular system going through and also the nervous system also. I put it in green because you know normally it's in yellow but we cannot see yellow. Voilà. And the so what we, the fibrosity of the pec minor will create a tension, a compression of the vascular system and also the nervous system. It's why it's so important, even if you see this muscle is not attached to the humerus, it's one of the only one not attached to the humerus, but it's very important because it creates this pressure on the vascular system, nervous system, and this arteries give some branches, as we will see, to the humerus, and you have some nerve going also to the capsule. Okay, we do it now, a technique very important for the vascular system and the nervous system of the shoulder and the superior limb. The pec minor is attached to the process, coracoid process, and also to the rib three, four, and five. And there is a kind of tunnel just underneath the pec minor where you have the subclavian artery, subclavian vein, and the brachial plexus. It's very important to put the thumb very flat at the level of the attachment of the coracoid process. With your, very often, with your thorax, you push a little bit, you push a little bit the ribs, and when you push a rib, you push a little your thumb in direction of the other shoulder. You do it several times. You are on the lateral part of the pec minor, and when you feel that you have a little release, you ask the patient now to move in abduction, move in abduction, good, and you come back. Okay, you do it again, and you come back. Don't try to go underneath the pec minor. It's very painful, sensitive for nothing. You try to make move the lateral part of the pec minor. And it's important, if you take the pec minor attachment, not to try to go underneath, not to irritate. So you have more, this movement is done with your thorax and also with your thumb at the same time. That is very important. I do it again, thumb very flat, the hand is very flat. You put your thorax on the thorax of the patient, you move the attachment of the pec minor and she moves and you follow the listening and you come back. You follow the listening and you come back. Mm -hmm.